Yo, what's up, yo? It's me, DMC, and the place to be. And the only place for you to be right now is right here on I Believe TV with the one and only Professor X. Because I believe that it's going to go down right now. Richard, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here again at the uh, Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and be able to help you on your path to being a true representative of people in this country that are living with paralysis and a real good one at that. So I congratulate you on uh, everything you've been doing and we're delighted to be able to award you this check to assist you in your program and getting you a better platform to deliver your message. Um, welcome to the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation. You're in the lobby at this point, and one of the things I think that I want everybody to understand is back uh, behind you there is Christopher's wheelchair. And uh, we're very proud to have that here in the foundation, and something that uh, Peter Wilderado, our president, always likes to comment on is when Matthew Reeve was here, right here doing an interview actually being filmed, um, they asked him, like, gee, Matthew, isn't it like difficult for you to see that wheelchair, that empty wheelchair there. And he actually responded that, no, quite the opposite, because that's what Chris wanted. My dad wanted to get out of the wheelchair. So seeing an empty wheelchair meant a lot to him. So here we've also got a number of awards and things that Chris uh, received over the course of his lifetime that are posted on, on the walls. He uh, did a lot of uh, talks and appearances after his injury and received a number of uh, citations uh, uh, acknowledging what he did for the community. Um, the other thing that you see in here is that it's not just about Chris, it's also about Dana. And uh, that's an important part of the foundation. Dana Reeve built our quality of life program, which is what you're going to see here, and largely aside from the office space, is the quality of life activities, including our paralysis resource center. And we have information specialists that work in that center that answer questions for people. One of them is about to roll in. Come on in, Harold. Harold Aguilar is one of our information specialists, been with the foundation for a while now. He answers questions over the phone, through email, has the uh, opportunity to uh, deal with people in Spanish as well as English because he's fluent in Spanish. But our information specialists are constantly helping people around the country and uh, dealing with the issues that they face on a day-to-day -day basis. So what do you say are the top issues you get, Harold? I would say it would be funding, home care, uh, equipment, um, transportation is a big one, uh, vehicle modification, home modification, uh, insurance, insurance dealing with uh, lack of coverage. Uh, I would say that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Harold. Put you on the spot, but you knew what you were going to say. So let's go on and show you the rest of the uh, Resource Center and Foundation. What we're walking into now is actually our library collection. And what we've done here with the library collection is to collect materials and books, uh, journals, magazines, videotapes, DVDs, all dealing with quality of life issues of living with paralysis. So we uh, have a collection that focuses on paralysis functionally, which is to say that we look at paralysis as a mobility impairment caused by any kind of a disease or a condition, uh, could be multiple sclerosis or strokes or spinal cord injuries. Living with paralysis after such a impairment is pretty much the same in many cases. 
So here we have travel guides for people who are in wheelchairs. We have dealing with nutrition, dealing with exercise, lots of great exercise videos. And we loan these materials out to anyone that uh, asks for them through our website, um, which is ChristopherReeve.org. And uh, you can find our library catalog on that website. This is open to the public. You're welcome to come by. We're located in New Jersey at 636 uh, Morris Turnpike in Short Hills, New Jersey. What uh, We are a nationwide service though, so a lot of our contact comes from all over the country. Uh, you met Harold before. People can call the information specialists on a toll-free number. That's 800-539-7309 or they can email them through the website of ChristopherReeve.org and just look for the Paralysis Resource Center. The materials will get mailed to people uh, and there is a return envelope that's already uh, has postage on it so they can return any of the materials that they borrow from the library collection. Um, and materials that come out from our information specialists are all free. The foundation doesn't charge for any of its services that it provides. Uh, we actually have an agreement with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention um, about providing health information for people living with paralysis that allows us to do all of this work uh, without any charges to the people that use the services. The other big part of our quality of life program is around grant giving. And in fact, that's why we're here today, is to be able to award one of our quality of life grants to, uh, I believe, uh, and uh, Richard Gaskin, to be able to do a broadcast program uh, up another level with some new equipment. And uh, we give grants out twice a year. Uh, they're given to nonprofits around the country that are doing things in their communities that can help people that are living with paralysis. So, for example, Grants go to groups that have summer camps for children in wheelchairs and gets those kids out to a camping experience. There's wilderness adventures for anybody, whitewater rafting grants, uh, lots of grants to uh, sports teams, wheelchair basketball, wheelchair tennis. Uh, we uh, supported a number of athletes in preparing for the last Paralympics that were in Beijing. Um, our grants also deal with advocacy issues, fighting on behalf of people for their rights within their communities, um, and on a national level, making voting booths accessible and things like that. Um, they also will provide equipment, equipment that can be used by many individuals, such as FES bikes that would go into rehab centers or those kinds of uh, pieces of equipment that can be used for improving the health and wellness of people living with paralysis because your quality of life begins with being a healthy person. Hi everybody, it's Santina back at the New Jersey Festival of Ballooning in New Jersey. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun last year. We're going to try to have as much fun this year. Professor X is out this time, so that always helps. Um, I'm also, you know, the Miss Wheelchair New Jersey thing going on in 2009, so let's see what we can do with that. Haven't eaten yet, so that's on the agenda. We got some cute little animals to see, some rooms to watch, some concerts to listen to, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, let's have some fun. Let's make that salad as well. What does that salad pass around? Right. So I got the test. Did I just pull out a salad bowl left over? I'll grab that for you. Good job, Steve. That's for like dramatic purpose right now. Watch this, guys. This cabin was $69 a pound over a pound right this morning. Did you get a good call? Are you something, huh? The pole slot of the Dilly Place was $3.95. Yeah. Yeah, there's... If you were to go on my website, you would find all kinds of ways to use it. Oh, Well, that's mixed with this. Yeah. 
that's, that's mixed virgin olive oil, so Spanish olive oil mixed with this, and with some additional spices. Look at this, guys. May I try the garlic, please? Yes, you may. Thank you. Oh, now I taste the truffle. There you go. It's like an afternoon. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so good. I love the pictures. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at this. This is awesome. Slingshot. I like it. What if you just win? <laughs> How are you? I'm good, and you? Good. to the thumbs up man there we go <laughs>
How's the event so far, Star? You know how it is? Hot. It was unpredictable. First, we thought it was going to be cloudy and a chance to rain. Right, right. Turn no rain. Now I'm waiting. So, at least everybody brought their umbrellas for the rain, except now they're using them for shade from the sun. But it works out. So far, so good. Here at the foundation, our mission, first and foremost, is to conduct research on behalf of people with paralysis, particularly spinal cord injury. And the foundation has been funding scientists around the world for many years now to be able to find cures to deal with paralysis. And I say cures because it's really the way that we look at things is that it isn't a magic bullet solution. We we do want to be able to get people up out of chairs and walking again. And in fact, we have some therapy that does do that right now. But more importantly, providing people functionality that could be getting their hands back if they're not able to use their hands or issues having to do with bowel and bladder control and things of that nature, all part of our research agenda, rehabilitation and actual cure. Um, our research program includes uh, a neuro recovery network of seven centers around the country that are delivering locomotor training. And that training is enabling people in chairs to get up suspended over a treadmill and have therapists move their legs to simulate walking. And that has great benefits on the overall health. I mean, to think about it, and it's getting somebody to be able to exercise no matter what condition they're living with is a good thing. Um, but it also has the impact in some people to uh, get them able to walk again. And uh, there's great video up on our website about a group in California that uh, is part of our network, Next Step Fitness, where they've been able to achieve that with the founder of the, of the uh, center who was basically told he would never walk again. And uh, this video is of him uh, using a walker at this point, but he's up out of that chair. So a lot of progress being made in research, a long way to go. But the foundation is continuing to pursue a very strong portfolio that includes uh, stem cell research, but isn't by any means limited to that. We invest in many different kinds of research. That happens here out of the foundation headquarters. We don't do any research in the headquarters. We actually fund scientists in their laboratories around this country and throughout the world. Um, and one of the hallmarks of what I think makes the Reef Foundation research program uh, as good as it is, is the requirement that people are asked to share what they're working on and the results among each other so that they're able to achieve a better rate of progress, even though it's still slow. But that kind of sharing is really important to this agenda. 
One of the other things that's here at the foundation is when Dana passed, we received from the family the awards and recognitions that were in their home. So we actually have papers as well and in fact have an archive on Christopher Reeve that we've been building here as part of our library collection at the foundation. And these are just some of the trophies and other awards that are part of the material that we received when, when the house was uh, closed down. It's really important. A lot of people don't realize that Christopher Reeve was involved in advocacy efforts long before he was injured. And so there was in Chris a desire to really help people around the world that were facing adverse situations. And uh, he helped to found some groups that do that. And he, of course, when he was injured, started the foundation here that uh, carries on the legacy of both Chris and Dana. Most of this is now office space here at the foundation. Um, what happens here is a lot of people are devoted to fundraising. Um, we can't do anything that we do do without having those wonderful donors and volunteers around the country that help us to raise funds to fund our research program and our quality of life program. And uh, one of the newer things at the Reef Foundation in the last couple of years has been the establishment of local chapters. And those chapters are now in San Diego, in Chicago, in Denver, in New England, in Utah, um, and, and more. And they're growing and they're really creating a local groundswell of activity to both do fundraising, but more importantly, or not more importantly, but as importantly, to provide programmatic activity like having peer mentoring programs and things of that nature. I left out Phoenix, which is another location where they're already up and running and doing a lot of wonderful things locally. And uh, as Harold said, one of the things that we hear a lot about is a lack of transportation. Because even if you have wonderful uh, services, if people can't get to them, then that's a problem. And one of the things we're doing in Phoenix is running a transportation service that really is uh, making a big difference in getting people out. Not just to get to doctor's appointments, but transportation to be able to go to the movies or to be able to do the things anyone else would want to do, too. And we believe in Richard. We have believed in Richard for a long time. And um, it's, um, I think, poignant for us to be uh, behind the pictures of both Chris and Dana. We remember, um, in particular, I think, when Richard came to our march on Washington um, and uh, the first year after Chris's death, and he dedicated a song to Christopher and how moved Dana was, in particular, um, about the words and about what he has to say. He's a real powerful advocate. Um, we believe in Richard, and we believe, and I believe. And uh, the fact that he's going to reach close to 900,000 people with this um, program and this message of hope um, is very important to our work. And um, thanks for helping us go forward. Professor X, we've got a millionaire who won't donate a million dollars. What are we going to do? I got an idea. Let's do it. To the day of a cure Every man, woman, and child can walk the world Why should we have to leave the U.S. And go overseas for a spinal cord test? Let's do it here If we're living here Raise a dollar out your pocket Put it up in the air Just one dollar and the rest will follow We got our wheels on spin all across the nation Pulling out a dollar just to add to the pot To the rest of America, a million on top A meaningful cause of investment As we just asking for a piece of a fragment Or what you may pay for a pack of cigarettes Just imagine that we puff these one more step Just one dollar and the rest will follow if we Yo, 
instead of us going to a millionaire and asking him for a million dollars, won't we go to a million people and get one dollar for each of them? Cat Claw and PB, you off the tongue, along with Patricia Tim Bennett and Dr. Wise Young, working together to get out of these chairs with a million deep and a dollar in the air. Waving side to side and let the dollar ring towards the end of others' chronic pain. Spasm chill, dyslexia threat Stop waking up at night in a cold sweat For the dream to come true, we have to give it a try Many willing to fight every day and night Especially the best to every little girl scout How I roll is transforming, let's roll out Just one dollar and the rest will follow If we come together, we can make things better Just a dollar, please, I don't.